I realize looking back now that I was very rootless in my own life and I was really struggling with living in New York and LA and Chicago and so I think that that was on my mind and so Awestruck for me is about a woman from an unknown country who moves to America trying to figure out what home means. It's about this, the illusion of the American dream and watching that kind of fall apart. When Sundance invited us to come, they said, who did you want to work with? I really wanted to work with somebody of my generation that I could establish and build a long-term relationship with. I also felt like there aren't enough people of color in the theater mm -hmm. business in power positions and directing. There are certainly not very many women of color. You're directing at like Lincoln Center and Yale and, mm -hmm. and I just felt like this was one more thing that could like launch both of us and get more people of color out in the world telling our yeah. stories. Chris came in with one play and it's like almost a completely different play now, right? And I think that was both um, because of the things that you wanted to experiment with, but also because of the, the conversations that were happening in the room. Like actors are asking, what's my intention here? Who, what is this relationship? Who is this character? And based on what's happening in that experimentation in the room, that character can change. You have a company of actors in the room and they become the voices of the characters. There was one day in rehearsal, they were like, well, what is, what is the style of this? What if we try it like telenovela, right? <laughs> so all of a sudden it became, papi, no, don't let me go to this other country. And we're like, no, that's wrong. <laughs> But we could try that, we got to do that. I like the idea that my plays are open enough to interpret so that a director and an actor and a design team can really bring in their own theatrical imaginations. I'm really just there in rehearsals to either answer questions if something doesn't make sense or to clarify and, and rewrite. At some point you sort of have to trust in the people in the room and, and give it up. When I wrote this play, I didn't know America. We are both about the same age. Our parents are both from the same small city in Honduras, Central America, and she's one of the few successful Hondurans in the business. And so when I wrote this play, she was who I thought of. It was so crazy when Sundance was like, who do you want to bring mm -hmm. to Sundance? And I was like, what about America? I'm like, no big <laughs> You know, and the fact that they got the play to her and she said yes, um, was kind of amazing. To have a home, to have a place to work, to have people who are investing in you, to have somebody say, here's time to just go create something new is so invaluable. And then to have that same person be like, great, now you take something that already exists and tear it apart, you know, that's great to have this lab. It's really the gift of time, you know, to kind of think, which you don't have in other crazy, busy places. People are taking risks, but you're not taking risks alone. You're taking risks together, and that gives you courage to be as big and as bold. Sundance is just, it's good for the soul. Yeah, it <laughs> is. That out loud. No, but it yeah, is, it's did. like, it's he very, it. it's, it's very warm, you know. It's good. Chicken soup for the soul. <laughs>